What's the day today? Uh, November 26, 2018. <laughs> what time is it right now? It's 11.27. 11.27 Eastern Time. Marvin Lewis should be fired before the top of the hour. And I'm not playing. He should have been gone. This man is in his 16th year on the job and does not have one single playoff victory in 16 years to show for it. I challenge anyone in America to show me any profession. I don't give a damn if it's a sanitation worker assigned to take out garbage. Give me one profession in this country where you get to come up short for 16 straight years. 16 straight. 16 straight. There is no excuse for this man to be the head coach of the Cincinnati Biggest. And oh, by the way, I got something that I wanted to say because this is along the lines US of what you were Senate, talking about. Maybe. I'm trying I'm to think of jobs when, where when, you can come when, up when, short. When you, were yeah. talking, when you were talking about the Giants or whatever, I take heat from the black community in all seriousness because I'm accused of selling out because I call out Marvin Lewis. I don't give a damn. You know why I don't give a damn? Because there's plenty of coaches, white, black, Hispanic, and beyond, who have aspirations of being a head coach in the NFL. There's only 32 of those jobs. If you leave a man in that position for 16 years that doesn't win a playoff game, what room could there ever be for anybody else? So you idiots out there who would have a problem with me calling him out, kick rocks. That man should be fired by the top of the hour. It's a disgrace that the city of Cincinnati has tolerated this man for that long. I, I, I swear to you, if, it was, if, I, if I was a radio host in, in, in Cincinnati, I'd be calling for a boycott of the Bengals. That's how serious I am about it. He should have been gone. Can you make yourself clear about this issue, please? Yeah, you're right. I don't think I was in. I, I felt that Marvin Lewis, I felt this way about Schottenheimer in the playoffs years ago. He made a few bad decisions, but basically got unlucky. And I felt Marvin Lewis was not a great coach, but he was a good enough one. And he'd gotten a little bit unlucky. I, I think about the year that Andy Dalton got hurt a couple years ago when I felt they had an actual chance to advance in the playoffs. They're a very well balanced team. I thought they were well coached. And I thought Andy Dalton showed lots of signs of life under pressure situations, prime time games, you know, stuff like that, fourth quarter comebacks. I felt that here they go, Dalton gets hurt. Then they let Whitworth sign away with the Rams so that he loses his protection the year they come back. And last year I thought, no, let's see what they could do. It looked like they were on the verge of doing something. The jury is in, right? It's in. It's over for Marvin Lewis. The question is, you know, if you want to seriously compete, the question is now, do you do it now or do you do it at the end of the season? I don't see an upside of doing it now, particularly when the guy who seems poised to take over on an interim basis at least is Hugh Jackson. So, so I hear you. I'm now with you on Marvin Lewis, but I would do it at the end of the season. The Bengals are, like you said, one in five in the last six games. Yes. Their only win has come against the laughable Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Mm -hmm. They've lost back-to-back -back games to rookie quarterbacks, Lamar Jackson and Baker Mayfield. Mm-hmm. Do you know how laughable that is? And I'm not laughing at the, the, the rookie quarterbacks, but you're supposed to be a defensive-minded coach who, by the way, fired his defensive coordinator. Yes, he and did. they have gotten worse on defense with him calling the plays. <gasps> you think that they, that's the Hugh Jackson they, hires to save they, his job? They've gotten, <laughs> they've gotten worse on defense since he fired Terrell Austin. Okay? You lose back-to-back back -back weeks against a rookie quarterback, and we should expect you to keep your job? Why in, the hell should, why in the hell should the Bengals keep this man on right now? He hasn't done anything. Right now? You mean right now or till the, at the end of the season? I, I mean, I would cut back. Like, listen. He'd be five before 12. Listen, listen. He'd be five before 12. The Browns, the Browns made a move. The Browns made a move. And look what's happened with the Browns. And by the way, you could use it as an opportunity to see what Hugh Jackson could give you with that talent and see what happens. You could do that. Not saying I'm advising it, but you could do it. Here's my whole point, and I'm dead serious about this. When you are an organization that has a coach in that position and you keep him employed, you're saying to the city, keep giving us your money like the suckers you are. We're fine because we don't prioritize winning. Mm -hmm. What we'll do is we'll try to sit there, we'll accumulate some talent, 
We'll try to be respectable, okay? But then if we don't win anything in the postseason, so what? We want your money, but we're not going to try to maximize anything here because we're comfortable. This is what they have done to the city of Cincinnati. Cincinnatians deserve better. They've been treated like a bunch of suckers. As far as I'm concerned, you should. they should show up. And they, they should not show up to watch a Bengals so you Let them play in front of an empty so stadium. Your, so your bigger issue with owner Mike Brown for tolerating well, for 16 I, I've years. always had an issue with okay. him. It's just right. that I, I'm one of those guys, like, guys, I tell Mike Spadola. He Mike's did get to the playoffs, though. Time, what, time, what about time. the Dolan? No, I get that he didn't win in the playoffs. Don't roll your eyes at me. There's a lot of teams that haven't consistently made it to the playoffs. I have repeatedly stated Marvin Lewis hasn't won a playoff game in 16 years. I never say he didn't get to got the playoffs seven times. He's 0 7 as a head coach. You, you, 16 years. Let me ask you a question, Molly, mm -hmm. since you brought it up. Playing devil's advocate. Well, let's play devil's advocate. Can you give me one profession in the United States of America where you get to be that mediocre for 16 years? And U.S. Senate, I told you. Huh. No, 16 years? No. You know what? I didn't even <laughs> think about that. I think there's plenty of But, I mean, those are elected officials as opposed to employees, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I, uh, but you have a point. Mm -hmm. You have a point. Okay, fine. Fine. Yeah. That's about it. There is no profession in this country, in this country, 16 years. I mean, there's a lot of people that are bad at their jobs and keep their jobs. Talking about 16 years? Yeah. You know what? You know who those people are? They're low, they're low level individuals that nobody knows and kids whether they exist or not. But yeah, when not you so, when like you're in a position that matters, figures, you don't get to be there for 16 so years and be an 